Okay, now V3 is going to be placed. Be very careful, make sure you actually pulled V3 away from all the others. It's so easy to get these, um, it's so easy to get these confused and to put the wrong lead wire on the wrong electrode. Alright, so we isolated V4, bring it all the way up and clip it. Try to keep your, your lead wires from looping and try to keep them from crossing as much as possible. <clears throat> All right, and then V5, clip V5. Make sure again that these clips are the right side up, not upside down. They don't work upside down, they only work right side up. Okay, now while I'm doing this, I'm kind of watching the patient to make sure the patient's not uncomfortable um, or too cold. Uh, we need the patient to relax as much as possible. Now that all the lead wires on are on, I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on. You'll hear the little um, beep, and um, <clears throat> you'll see that it actually uh, starts to ask, is the RPH the same as printed marking? Just say, hit return. And now you come to the main menu. On the main menu, it's going to say main and patient. Uh, I want you to press the patient button first, which uh, takes you to the patient menu, and we're going to click, uh, click on the name, and this is where we're actually going to free type the patient's name. I'm going to put my name, S A. L I N A S space and then Carlos C A R L O O S. Okay, once the name is in and it's spelled correctly, hit return RTN and now click on the age. And um, we'll say that the patient is four years old and return. And now we're going to put in the sex of the patient, which is male, M for male, and hit return. We're always hitting return going back to the main menu. Now that the patient data is in, we're going to hit return and go back to the main menu, M-A-I-N. And um, now that uh, kind of sets us up to begin running the EKG. All right, now before we begin, we're going to turn back to the patient and have the patient relax as much as possible. All right, we need you to relax as much as possible. What I really want you to do is to lay your hands flat, don't move. Lay your hands flat by your side. I want you to relax your arms and your hands, your legs and your feet like you're asleep. So just sort of relax like you're just completely asleep. Hold your, there you go. Just let every, let your hands and your legs just relax. If you see that your patient is moving, this is not going to work. So you need to relax, no moving, okay? All right, so as soon as the patient looks relaxed, don't move your fingers, um, we're going to go ahead and hit the auto button. And the auto button is going to relax as much as you can. The auto button is actually going to begin the EKG recording. Okay? Uh, it's going to ask you, is the patient data okay? It's asking that because it's not sure if, if perhaps you might have changed to another patient. So just say yes, and uh, it's going to begin recording. Try not to move, relax. Relax if you're moving too much. Um, and you'll see that it starts to record. At this point, we just need to make sure that the patient is fully relaxed. Now, um, I'm going to run it again, but this time, um, because I see there's a little bit of interference, we'll talk about that in class, but the patient moved while I was running it, so I just need you to relax and not move until we're done, all right? Here we go. We're going to run it one more time, and uh, hit return, and we're going to hit auto. Nice and relaxed, don't move. Relax your arms, just close your eyes, and nice and relaxed, close your eyes, and here we go. Patient is doing really good. Hold still. Don't move. Really good. Don't move. Don't move your head. You're doing great. Ah, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to show you real quickly um, what had happened. The patient actually moved on the first tracing, but didn't move too much on the second tracing. If you'll notice real quickly right here, um, there's some fuzzy lines, which are not really straight. But look at the same area over here. In line two, it's very clean and straight, and uh, that's where the patient was actually holding still. This machine is very sensitive. It's picking up the heart's muscle electrical activity, but it can also pick up muscle movement from other parts of the body. So we need to be really, um, really uh, um, uh, still during the procedure. The patient cannot move. They can't be tense if they're in pain or if they're cold. Uh, if the patient is just uncomfortable. Those are things that can cause what we, what we call somatic tremors. This is actually an example of somatic tremors. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, um, at that point you would take all the electrodes off and you would have to help the patient off the table. All right, so we're going to take these off. Uh, remember that if your patient is male and there's a lot of hair, 
you're going to have to deal with that hair, whether it's um, pulling the hair aside to get the electrodes to stick, or if it's a matter of, sh of shaving. Uh, if it's a female patient and, uh, and you need to get those electrodes under the breasts, then you need to lift the breasts up um, with the back of your hand, not with the cup of your hand. Pull it up or move it upward and then place the electrodes underneath. Um, body fluids like sweat can interfere with the electrodes sticking, so you might have to wipe that off. If the patient has lotion, you'll have to prep it with alcohol and cotton to get rid of some of that, that uh, body oil or that lotion. Okay? All right, so we're going to help you off the table. You did very good. Um, by the way, when you pull these electrodes off, they can hurt, so pull them off carefully. If the patient has hair on their chest, pull the electrodes off whenever possible with the grain of the hair growth, not against, because that can pull hair off and that, that hurts. Even on guys, that can be painful. Okay, let's take this last one off. Thank you very much. Let's pull your shirt down. All right, thank you very much.